Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So today is going to be a very quick and easy tutorial on how to tune your guitar with GarageBand, which is the software that I use to record my audio. I'm going to show you my screen in this one. Now let's open GarageBand. As you can see, this is my home screen. Let's go to GarageBand. And let's just open a new project. So let's go to archive new project let's just all right so we are going to choose our guitar because that's the instrument that we're going to uh, tune so let's make this okay so we have our guitar here and just for this example I'm gonna use an acoustic guitar because that's what I'm using right now as well now we have our guitar here. How do we tune our guitar? First of all, we have to see this screen. If you don't see this screen, if it's for example like this, you can always go to this part and if you hold your mouse over it, the smart controls are here. So if you click that, then you get this screen, all right? Now, when you go to the right top of this screen, you see this tool here. That's our tuner. So if we open this, that's our tuner. We can move this around and you can see it's already tuning, but this is tuning my voice and not the guitar. Um, but if we uh, strum our guitar, then we will be able to tune our guitar. So let's start, for example, with the first string, which is the lowest string. Okay. So you can see if I strum the strings that the pointer is moving. Now if you tune your guitar, the pointer should be as close as possible to the middle, to zero. Now it depends on how you tune your guitar, but let's say we tune it in the most common way, which should be the E, B, G, D, a and E. Okay, so as you can see, most are pretty accurate right now. Uh, it can always be more accurate, but you can tune them yourself. Like this one is pretty much perfect. Let's check the B one. A little bit to the lower side, but not too much. Then we have the G. A little bit too high. Then we have the D. It's pretty much perfect. Then the A. A little bit too high, but not too much. That's okay. The E. A little bit on the lower side. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Now there are different kind of tunings that you can use. The tuner will show you the key that you're closest by. So for example, the E right here is the closest tone that he can recognize. So that's the one he shows me. If I lower it a lot, like This is closer to the D sharp than the E. So that is what he shows me. All right, so if I go a little bit higher. This is the, this is the D sharp and not the E. So if I go a lot higher right now, then he jumps over to the E. So it depends on what tuning you want your guitar to be. So that means you don't only have to look to the pointer if it's close to zero because it could be another letter that he shows and that won't sound very good of course if it's the wrong one. All right. So that was a quick tutorial on how to tune your guitar with GarageBand. I hope you learned something again today guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget guys I have other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye.
the uh, heat you is the closest is the closest key that he can depends on what tuning your will you you have to look at the you have to look at the le, you have to look at the you don't know so that was a quick music videos for i have music videos and i have other also